Okay, I'd like to give a quick overview on the rotisserie kit that I'm offering that I'm calling John's Rotisserie Kit. So let's just say it's time for you to put your fuselage up on a rotisserie just for all the good reasons of uh, better access to the inside and um, a lot better ergonomics to get more productive work done and and all those different reasons to do that. So anyway, so this is an RV7 fuselage and as you can see the uh, aft deck is all riveted and in place and I've actually got the tail spring on this one because it's a tail dragger and uh, that makes it a little simpler to uh, support your tail. So you can see the, the firewall here and I've actually built a 2x4 frame basically took in an 8 foot 2x4 and uh, cut it into three different pieces two 24 inch pieces and one 48 inch piece and uh, those are just fastened together with some uh, 3 8 by 3.5 or 3 8 by 4 hex head cap screws with flat washers and lock washers to make this frame and this frame is what you will connect to your firewall if you choose to do it this way. Um, I've actually, I have my motor mount and I was able to go ahead and locate and drill my 3 8 holes for mounting that motor mount to the firewall. And uh, my motor mount fit pretty much perfectly over the pre-punched pre holes in the firewall. So everything worked out good. I went ahead and drilled them to 3 8 because I wanted to use some spacers here uh, to get this out from my firewall so I could do some work on my firewall when I get to that point. Um, it's just something that, I, hey, if I'm going to put it on a rotisserie, I don't want to limit myself in that area. So, And I also want to leave the uh, firewall access open because I don't want to mount my... Uh, rotisserie mount there because I uh, you know I, that's one of the things I want to work on while it's on the rotisserie from the inside when it's laying on its side so that's kind of where I'm at uh, so anyway you can see the frame I've used some long 3 8 bolts with spacers to attach this simple 2x4 frame to the firewall and it's good and sturdy now as part of the kit what you get you get this uh, rotisserie pivot assembly and what this consists of is uh, everything you see here the plate that mounts onto that 2x4 frame a inner tube and an outer tube that's welded to a channel and uh, there's a friction lock bolt here and then there's also a pin you can pull and you can rotate this around all the way around and it has four uh, you can index it in four different places and go ahead and pin it or you can just set it at the friction lock and the friction lock does a real good job of holding it uh, I just it's pretty easy to put a pin in there too so at each 90 degree increment you can go ahead and pin it there's two roll pins that keep it from sliding off uh, the inner pivot tube and that's pretty much the pivot assembly now the other aspect of this rotisserie kit is you'll get two of these plates and two of these plates and you can see how these plates are mounted to a 4x4 so basically you buy one 4x4 8 foot long and you cut it in half and uh, you'll attach one of these plates and one of these plates you'll match drill through the 2 by the 4x4 and go ahead and sandwich the 4x4 in between those plates and uh, that'll be your one will be your firewall base column and one will be your tail base column the plates at the bottom are identical now while we're back here at the tail the other plate another feature that you will get with this kit is 
this tailplate. This tailplate will bolt to one of your uh, base plate or base columns, which you call, you know, for your tailstock. It'll just bolt on there and it gives you a inch and five eighths diameter hole that you can uh, put a pipe through that comes off either your aft deck, if you do it that way, which, or if you're doing a tail dragger, you can just come right off your tail spring. It works fine. Now, I don't have what, there's a plastic snap bushing that goes in here, so it prevents uh, any marring or scratching of your tail tube, over your tail spring, uh, if you use that, and it'll also be in there if you run a pipe right off your aft deck. I'm going to offer a kit, or an option, which will have a couple brackets that will sandwich and clamp and have a pipe on it. So you won't even have to fabricate that. If you're building a tricycle gear, you can just buy that as an option with this other kit. So anyway, you've got your tail plate, you've got your tail base plates, and you've got your tail column. That assembly is what will support your tail. Let's go back up here to the front. So basically you can see that uh, this pivot assembly will go up on top of this column and be uh, secured with one bolt through this 3 8 uh, actually I drilled it at 13 30 seconds uh, hole. So that is your pivot assembly pivot point. It'll pivot on this. Now what that allows, and I'm going to show you that once we get it up on there, uh, you'll see the advantage of how that works. So uh, I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so we've got the uh, pivot assembly attached to the front uh, base column with the 3 8 by uh, four and a half long cap screw. And so what I'm going to do now, we've got it locked so it won't rotate. We've got the pin in at uh, horizontal position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the tail and I'm going to lift the tail up and you'll see how the, the uh, whole airplane fuselage can pitch uh, and the tail is sitting on a sawhorse still and uh, so I'm going to pick up on the tail and uh, so look down here so I've got rid of the sawhorse and now I'm going to slide the tail support column through and uh, now the tail is supported by the tail spring in the tail base column. And if you you know if you had a tricycle gear, then you would have your pipe coming off the aft deck, and it would be going through the same hole. So let's go back up front. And uh, I'm going to show you how stable it is. Very stable. Right now we are, like I said, I took a 4x4 four by, four by 8 foot. I sawed it in half. I used half of it for the front post, half of it for the back post. So... Our, our column is 48 inches, our 4x4, four four, and our uh, pivot point is actually up about 51 and a half. You can adjust that just by sawing your 4x4 four four to whatever length you choose. So let's go ahead and we'll pull the pin out of it. And uh, you can see it pretty much stays stable. Now, let's, you know, we can rotate it over to... 90 degrees, drop the pin in, or just use the friction lock. So here we are, fuselage, 90 degrees, lay your blanket in there, spread out your tools, and uh, you've got a great working height position that really makes a difference. Uh, 
Still very stable. 